capture the idea of releasing and letting go of materials. I've had these two containers right here. Um, and these are containers that I use throughout the course of a school year where I just toss in project ideas that I see in magazines, things that I print off, articles, that type of thing. And I just store them in these bins. It used to be just one, then it kind of permeated into two. And now here I am with these two totes loaded with ideas that I haven't done anything with. And so this may not seem like a big deal, but this can easily escalate into three tubs, four tubs, five tubs, and then it becomes so overwhelming that we don't know what to do with it. So what I've done is I have actually just taken all the contents out. And I have them here in piles. And you can see lots of magazine articles ripped out printed off research articles, my notes, note cards, just anything that I thought would be helpful are in these containers. So, what I'm gonna be doing is going through these one by one to get this down to zero, to actually not have any physical hard copies of anything. And along the way, I'll be doing this as well as these other materials back here. So let's go ahead and dive into how we're going to begin to tackle this very overwhelming pile of amazing ideas that I want to do. I just haven't found time or the resources to do so. All right, my friends. So one of the ways of how I declutter these stacks of papers and these piles, I'm going through and determining whether or not I really need this. These here are just some handouts I, I picked up when I was out at High Tech High in San Diego for a conference. And these are some really just great project ideas that um, I don't want to lose sight of um, because they may come in handy when I'm working with educators. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to use OneNote. You could do the exact same thing in your Evernote account if you use Evernote. Um, I've used Evernote to do this exact same thing, but I am merging everything to my OneNote folders. And so what I have in here is I have a folder. I have a folder right here, or a notebook, excuse me, that's called Purposeful Play Project Ideas. I've created this, and this is where I'm going to document all my scans of project ideas that I think are too good to be completely forgotten but I can go back and reference when I need it and I have in here magazine ideas and I'm actually for this one going to create one called project ideas okay now that once I have that here's the beauty of it is I can go down here and hit this plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap a picture and I don't want a photo, I want a document, and there's also a whiteboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up here like so, and I'm just going to snap a picture. And then boom, there it is, I have it. So I'm gonna hit done, um, and it's right there in the notebook. Now what I can do here is I could continue to add more of these. And so I'll show you the other option here. I can hit this camera option again. I'm gonna take a picture, but I want these all, I just want them all in one place. And so as I think about this, there we go. There's one and it's gonna process, oh, I need to edit that. So I'm gonna hit up here at this top, I'm gonna to edit this, I'm gonna move my folder so I have exactly what I need. Done. Now I'm gonna hit this little camera with the plus in the bottom left. And what I can do then is I can take several pictures and just load them all up into one file. And this is what I would normally do. So I'm gonna take another picture here. This one actually has a, the back side or front side, there we go. And then I'm gonna do this last one here. Ooh, let's redo that. 
kind of blurry. There we go. And I'm gonna hit done. And now I've got them all in one space. So now I'm able to take these papers and toss them. And there you go. There's one way I can recycle these. I have them stored in my, on my OneNote and that's four less papers I have in my space. All right, so like I said, I'm using OneNote. You can do the same thing in Evernote. I've also used another app called Office Lens that works. You can load it up into your Google Drive. Um, however your, your situation is, you find the app and tool um, that works best for you, and then you can start to declutter paper like this. I know as educators, we love to hold on to tangible things. We love handouts, we love printed off copies, but they start to amass collections. And let me just say something here. This pile, this monstrosity is so overwhelming that I'm not actually gonna sort through and find the project that I want. And I don't even know where to begin with this. So now my journey is to do the same and go through, is it a good idea, is it something that could be used in the classroom? And if so, I'm gonna scan it and I'm gonna organize my OneNote. I'm gonna to start to get topic ideas, whether it's coding or robotics or hands-on learning or elementary or secondary. Um, but the first part is just to get this piled down to zero. And it's such a wave of relief because I see this as an overwhelming to-do list that isn't leading me anywhere positive. So I'm gonna work through this journey and until next time, stay awesome. And if you have tips and ideas for how you gather ideas, store ideas, scan them, whatever the process is, please leave a comment, please share out so we can learn. So the more ideas we have, the better pathways we have for all of us to be better. All right, my friends, stay awesome.